Hi everyone. I've put together a uh, basic four channel sequencer with the Arduino and I wanted to give a, uh, a demonstration of it. Uh, it's, it's only four channels but it's still a lot of fun um, and the uh, I went ahead and added uh, channel indicator LEDs which was uh, not necessary but it was easy to add so I did that too. Uh, let me just bring up the volume a little bit. Right now I've just set uh, a little scale going on. Uh, this filter is the same filter as before. Uh, right now I just have the um, Arduino audio out and a trigger out going into the uh, same trigger input as before. Uh, there's, it's working pretty well. There's one small glitch in the code. Every now and then you'll hear a slight little uh, stutter in the, in the tempo and I've, I'm not sure why it's doing that. Maybe someone can figure it out because I tried a million things, but I just added whatever. It still sounds cool. Um, it has five speed settings. I don't have a knob. I actually have a push button. Uh, that's second from the slowest. Let me cycle through these. There's that one. back to the slowest, and that's the one I had it running when I started. And of course, you know, uh, what, what fun is a sequencer without playing with uh, a filter? Of course, this is just uh, cut off in resonance, and of course, PK time. time a little there. So it's sweeping up instead of down. Back. And of course, I just have these, these are the four potentiometers that set the, the channel pitch. These are four um, what would be toggle switches. Right now they're just jumpers. As you can see, I will, uh, you can access whatever channel numbers you want. You can just toggle between them. And that's with no channels. Whatever the last uh, channel running was, the LED will stay lit because the oscillator is still running. So it lets you know what, if, if I opened up the filter, you would actually still be hearing that. It's just that the filter, of course, has cut off the, uh, the frequency. So these would be toggle switches eventually. And of course, I preset these four notes just to sound kind of pleasing, but you can of course just go all kinds of haywire. Let's speed that up. You 
could actually tune an oscillator low enough that it stops. Let me show you how that will actually go extremely low. I'll show you the range of the oscillators. And the pitch will change. It samples the uh, potentiometer for each trigger cycle. So you can actually change the speed of that depending on how fast your, your, your sequence is going. That's the highest of, end of the range. And you go with the lowest end. It will actually go down until it's not even. It's pretty low. Quite a range. It's been channel two, channel three, channel four. Go to one channel, let's bring up the speed. Anyhow, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, the uh, schematic and the code is linked in the comment section. I'm sorry, uh, in the description section. And uh, if anyone can figure out every now and then that there's a little misstep in in the precise beat, but uh, I'm not really. It has something to do with the fact that the the interrupt routine that generates the PWM is interacting somehow with my timing delays so who, who knows maybe someone out there can uh, figure it out so anyhow have a great day and have fun playing